Have you been using Google Classroom all year with your students and now it's the time to get archived? Today on Tech Coach Weekly, we're going to be showing you guys the right way to archive your Google Classroom so that way next year you have a safe and healthy digital learning environment. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tech Coach Weekly. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and thank you so much for joining us today and making TeacherCast your home for professional development. If you enjoy this program, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, smash that bell, and hit that subscribe button, because we are going to be here each and every week to help you and your teachers create amazing and dynamic lessons with your students. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Google Classroom and... We're going to be deep diving into some of the very important topics that all teachers need to be thinking about this year. With me, as always, is my Ask the Tech Coach co-host, Miss Susan Vincent. Sue, how are you today? Welcome to Tech Coach Weekly. I am great, as always, and it's great to see everyone out there via this video format. I am so excited to get Tech Coach Weekly started. What do you have for us today? What are we going to learn about Google Classroom? So today we're going to talk all about the best way to close down your Google Classroom so that we can be prepared for the new year to come. And that is so important. You know, we just did an episode of Ask the Tech Coach all about that. You can find out more information at the description below or by visiting askthetechcoach.com. And you're going to show us today some of those things that we might not be thinking about when it comes to archiving and shutting down our, our digital worlds. Here we are in Google Classroom. So the first thing that we want to be sure to do before we archive our class for the year is to check on any outstanding assignments. So I'm going to navigate over to my classwork page. I'm going to click on classwork. And we're going to see if there are any outstanding assignments that we need to return back to the student. So I can see right here that there is still this assignment turned in by my student right here and I have not given them a grade nor have I returned it to them. So what I'm going to do is just click here and give them a grade and that will record and then what I always want to be sure and do is to return that assignment to them. So returning it makes sure that it returns the ownership back to the student. Remember, when a student turns in an assignment on Google Classroom, as the teacher, you become the owner until you return it to them and they become the owner. So they want to have ownership of their work. That way, if they need it for reference in the coming years for whatever reasons, portfolio purposes and such as that. So now that we have returned all of the students' work, we now can navigate back to our main page of our Google Classroom and then we're going to go to the People tab. So here I am, I'm going to click on this People tab and then I'm going to click the box next to each student and then I'm going to navigate to this Actions button right here. I'm going to click on Actions and I'm going to remove them. So when I click Remove, it'll ask are you sure and if I check each box by multiple students it will remove each of them so I'm going to remove him from my class so now I don't have any students left in my class now I can come up here to the top left hand corner to where we have these three lines and I'm going to click back on classes so when I click classes it will show all of my name cards for each of the courses that I teach and right beside the title of each course is these three dots. When I click on the three dots, I have several options and one of those at the bottom is archive. So when I click archive, it'll ask, are you sure? I'm gonna click archive again. Now I have a clean slate ready to create a new class for the new school year. Now, if I wanna access my archive classes for any reason, I can click on my three lines and choose archived classes and there I will find my class. So the three things that you want to remember to clean up your Google Classrooms at the end of the school year is to make sure you return any work so that way students have their own ownership back. 
you want to remove all of the students from that class, and then you want to archive it. And then on the next year's class, you will be able to pull assignments in and use them as an assignment for the new year and repurpose it that way. You know, Sue, you are absolutely right. There's so many things that we need to know about Google Classroom, but it's really not that difficult to archive the right way. Absolutely. Just follow the steps just so it's important to stay organized and get the right owners back to the right people and all of that good stuff and then archiving it and making sure you're ready for that new year. Now, what do you suggest we do for the following school year? Do we open up that classroom again and start moving new people in, or do you recommend that we create a brand new classroom? I tend to lean on the side of creating a brand new classroom and keeping that old one as kind of your template per se, and then you can still, on a new classroom, reuse those old assignments. So if you just click the three dots, bring that menu down and click on reuse post it will give you the option to go into that archive classroom and pull those old posts when you need them that is an amazing tip and a great suggestion but we want to hear from you guys do us a favor leave a comment below don't forget to hit that thumbs up we want to know what you guys think about not only this video but how you guys archive your classrooms and share this information with your teachers and that wraps up today's episode of tech coach weekly if you like this again don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, smash that bell, and hit that subscribe button. We are here each and every week to help you guys become great instructional technology coaches. And also don't forget to check out the TeacherCast Educational Network, the best place to find great educational podcasts. As each week, Sue and I bring you the instructional coaching podcast called Ask the Tech Coach. And we hope, of course, you click on it hit that subscribe button and share this with your friends. So as we conclude Tech Coach Weekly and on behalf of Sue and everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.